What's up guys, it's Chachi Power here to do a review for Collection DX. Today we have the Robot Spirits number 93. This would be uh, Zendacross. He's from Dodaimon, Nobita and the Steel Troops. He's not shown very often in, in, the, uh, in the movie, but he does play an important part. And uh, it's pretty cool that they went ahead and made a figure of this guy because he's actually a pretty nice design. Uh, pretty generic, but pretty cool. If you want some background on this character, you might want to check out the written review. Got a little background there, but uh, just a quickie. Uh, this guy falls from the sky uh, in pieces, literally. Uh, and they put him together to form this robot, and they use it to their advantage in the movie. Uh, he normally thinks on his own and moves on his own, but uh, you know, in the process of putting them together, they left out his brain. So they're able to pilot him. But anyway, I want to show you guys the box. Uh, here is the back. It shows, uh, you know, the various the poses and accessories and, you know, uh, illustrations here. And here's the front, which shows Dodaimon and the characters in the show. This is Lili Lu, and this is Brain, and Nobita, and Shizuka, and everybody else that's in the movie. So, uh, pretty simple box design. Uh, so let's move on to the figure now. Here he is in figure form. So we're going to go ahead and check that out and see just how good Bandai uh, executed this. So here he is pretty decent size about maybe five uh, six inches tall uh, completely made out of PVC probably some ABS on the red here and it seems like it's solid PVC it feels uh, pretty heavy and overall very nicely molded very nice sculpt uh, paint applications are pretty good uh, I don't see any kind of uh, rough paint jobs here what I want to start off with is is the articulation so we'll start off with the very top he's got these wings here which move around very slight movement you've got the head with uh, the neck joint which is a ball joint you'll notice this little spike just uh, fell out I had a hard time looking for this you might want to glue that in um, if not if you do lose it it does come with a spare one so moving on with the articulation he's got these blue parts these sections here the chest sections that move uh, back and forth it's also got um, that pin there for the shoulder which allows movement there has this uh, shoulder cap here has the round joint for the arm the upper arm with a swivel then you have the the elbow and the hands which are on a ball joint you have the upper chest then you have the lower waist and side to side movement in the waist and for you Gundam fans uh, you have these similar style skirts here now, I've read in a couple places that a lot of people think this looks like the MSN 100 Hyakushiki from a mobile uh, suit Z Gundam and possibly even designed by Kunio Okawara uh, however that is just a coincidence since uh, he did not design this mecha, probably inspired by it, so I can see the inspiration. But uh, other than that, nothing to do with the Gundam. So moving along, we get here to the uh, the legs, back and forth a good amount. You get a nice uh, split there. You got a double jointed knee with a, a knee cap here, and then you get the ankles and the folding foot. Now as far as gimmicks, he doesn't have uh, much gimmicks. He really only has this one, which is basically the cockpit. And if I could just get my nails in there, I can pull it out. There you go. So he's got a nice little cockpit area. This is where the kids would sit and control Xandacross. And moving on to accessories, we do have these alternate hands. He's got these nice open happy hands, which I'll show you guys in a second what that's for and he's got these regular open hands. I explained to you before it does come with those little happy hands and what they're there for is to recreate a scene in which the little girl Shizuka 
it gets a brief uh, ride in Xandacross. So by holding the mind controller to control the, the mech, she made it do a ballerina twisties and all sorts of ballet silliness. So you're able to recreate it here and Bandai has given it enough articulation to accomplish that. And the other little piece of accessory here is this little hatchling which uh, before it hatches it looks like a big blue bowling ball and this big blue bowling ball is actually uh, Zen the Cross's brain. So he has um, the ability to think on his own and act accordingly, make his own decisions uh, like any human, uh, except when they assemble him from the parts falling from the sky they leave out his brain. And then from what I see uh, they keep the bowling ball and basically they stick it in a rice cooker uh, and this little guy hatches so I don't know it's in there if you want it so overall the figure is pretty good it is solid as you can see here nothing flops around unless I really try but other than that it's pretty solid uh, paint apps are good like I said uh, it has a nice heft uh, there's no die cast in case you guys are watching and you're not familiar with robot spirits uh, there is no die cast but uh, you know, it kind of nags me in the back of my mind that this probably would have made a really cool Super Robot Shogokin. But, um, you know, not going to complain. The figure's pretty good on its own here in the Robot Spirits line. And if you want to know more about this figure, make sure you check out the written review. Check out Collection DX. There's a bunch of stuff there for you guys to check out. And I will be back soon with more.